COVID cases are climbing in the capital city just one month into the school year. And Hartford Public Schools could now transition to a hybrid learning system because of those numbers. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is live right now with more details on how school officials plan to keep students safe. Sharon. Well, the positivity rate here in Hartford is at 2.6% and officials say if those numbers continue to climb, they will be switching to a hybrid model by October 19th. That we're preparing families for the possibility and it right now feels like it might be a strong possibility that that shift uh, is coming. The city of Hartford has had an increase in positive cases over the past week. Hartford Public School Superintendent says they've only had 32 COVID cases since schools reopened, but the citywide spread may cause them to shutter their doors. We have not seen uh, the transmission that is occurring in our schools and we'd like to keep it that way. If the numbers continue to increase, K through nine students will follow a hybrid model and 10 to 12th grade students will follow a remote model starting on October 19th. In the meantime, city officials say they're increasing testing across the city, increasing testing on school properties and working on in school testing. It is um, our goal to keep schools open for as long as we can. Meanwhile, the state's largest teachers union is speaking out about conditions in classrooms across the state. A Connecticut Education Association survey of 2,000 teachers says many lower performing school districts don't have the proper health protocols in place. You've got the Wednesdays where there's supposedly the, the deep cleaning that, that's not happening um, as much as it is in the other districts. Only half of teachers in those alliance districts say their schools are doing daily cleanings or have enough PPE. And only 25% believe their schools have a good plan for contact tracing. The last thing we want is for schools to that, that have been have had a decent track record in the in the most part so far to be spreaders of the virus back to their families. And back here in Hartford, school leaders say they will make an announcement on whether they'll be transitioning to that hybrid model on October 12th. Reporting live in Hartford tonight, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.